Knowledge of Rebound Hammer Calibration The calibration test of the rebound hammer should be carried out before and after calibrating. The calibration test is to check whether the calibration value of the rebound hammer meets the requirements. The purpose of this process is to check whether the nominal energy of the rebound instrument is up to standard and whether the test performance of the rebound instrument is stable. During calibration, we use the calibration testing anvil. The testing anvils for calibration are classified into three types, PZ2, with a calibration value of 80 plus or minus 2, PZ3, with a calibration value of 60 plus or minus 2, and PZ4, with a calibration value of 41 plus or minus 2. We take model 225 concrete test hammer as an example and use ordinary testing anvil to carry out calibration test. During calibration, the steel anvil should be on a stable, flat and rigid object. The impact rod should be struck in four directions, each direction for three times. After that, rotate the impact rod 90 degrees and continue to eject three times. A total of 12 times. The average of calibration values in the four directions is qualified if it is in the range of 80 plus or minus 2. At the same time, the digital rebound hammer should check whether the difference between the mechanical value and the digital display value meets less than or equal to 1 during calibration.